a great look there at the famous ivy covered walls at historic Wrigley Field in Chicago as MLB The Show gets set to bring you another edition of Major League Baseball. Swing and a high pop drifting into foul territory. Soto is there and Jeter's retired for the first out of the game. Curtis Granderson will stand in now as they'll have to deal with the reigning RBI champ in the American League. And he committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Worth pointing out how important it was to keep the leadoff guy off base to start the night and to do it with one pitch, that's even better. And this is taken in by Soto and that's out number two. Well, that's how you want to start a ball game. Three pitches and two outs. See, he's not even loose yet, but he's almost through the first inning. And over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Oh, and two now as Cano comes up empty on that one. Ah, now on 0-2, you can't think about the home run. you got to shorten up and put this thing in play. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. And a look there at the starting lineup for the Cubs, once again brought to us by State Farm. David DeJesus is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Yeah, and you hate to see a call like that on the very first pitch you throw in the ball game. This one's a strike. It's one and one. And that's a pitch that's tough to turn around. On a hole now as he swings and misses at a pitch in the dirt, and it's one and two now. And you talk about fooling a guy. It looked like he was trying to hit that baseball on the hop. Got him. And when you've got a guy that throws this hard, normally this changeup becomes what you might call a power changeup. Whatever you call it, that was still a great two-strike pitch there. Starlin Castro comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Castro, the only man in the National League to top the 200 hit mark last year, finishing with 207. And the underhanded throw gets him for the out. Marlon Byrd will be the batter. Down on the shins and missed with it. Ball one. Now the 1-0 pitch. Now the 1-0 is in the air out to left. Gardner is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Mark Teixeira leads things off now in the top half of the second. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And the Yankees have their first hit of the ball game. Alex Rodriguez, the third baseman, will stand in. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. Well, A-Rod coming back down to earth a little after so many fantastic seasons. 16 home runs, 62 RBIs in 99 games last year. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Whoa, and when A-Rod swings like that, that'll put the fear of you-know-what in you. Swing and a miss by A-Rod, so he becomes a strikeout victim here. And standing in now, a guy whose daddy was a catcher here at Wrigley Field for a number of years, Nick Swisher. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And a big rip by Swisher, but he comes up empty. It's 0-2. Trying to hit that one to walk Keegan. Mercy, he had a great hack. Good waste pitch, one and two. Set up a little too far outside for the sinker there. Yeah, now the one-two to Swisher. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. 
So a runner at first with two away. And that'll bring in the all-star catcher, Russell Martin. I had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. Kind of a wild swing there. He'd be better served to shoot for a gap instead. And there he goes towards second. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Now a ball rolled foul toward first as he stays alive. Swing and a ball pretty well hit out towards left center. Under it now is Soriano, and he'll put this one away to end the inning. One left for the Yankees. Brian LaHare will lead things off this inning for the Cubbies with Alfonso Soriano scheduled behind him on deck. And a ball 1-0. and Yeah, sometimes the tide of an at-bat hinges on an umpire's call. We could easily be 0-1 right now. That one's a called strike. Back even at 1. Swing and a routine fly ball out towards center. And there to take it in is Granderson for the first out of the inning. Alfonso Soriano will take his cuts now. And here's a called strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. Well, they'll run this one in on him and he can't connect so he finds himself down one and two now well if he's ahead of that fastball what does that tell you as a pitcher throw the change up and he'll be even more out in front look out that one almost got away from him two and two now and a change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball well if he's got the confidence to throw it two and two let's see if he throws it three and two oh now soriano connects as he sends a drive out to deep left field a leaping effort there by Gardner, but it'll be in vain. That ball is gone. A home run. So a solo shot for Alfonso Soriano. And the Cubs are on the board first, one to nothing. Giovanni Soto comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. The nothing in one pitch is bounced on the ground to Jeter at shortstop. And boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. Ian Stewart digs in at the plate. And he'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And a close play at first, but he's called out, and the side is retired. Cubs get one. Brett Gardner is ready to go here as we begin the third. Runs up to bunt here, but he missed it for strike one. Yeah, and sometimes defenders get caught a little flat-footed on that first pitch of the inning. That's a good time to try it. And this is fouled back and out of play. Take him out of the zone here, and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. So one away, and be careful. A good hitting pitcher here, CC Sabathia. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Grounded foul. And this will be fouled away. Another 0-2 coming. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. So it's back to the top of the order now. And in steps Derek Jeter. First pitch is in the air out toward right field. And DeJesus will make the catch. And with that, the side is retired. 
Darwin Barney makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Right back to work is Sabathia as he gets ahead of the first batter here. Nothing in one. Sabathia ready with the 0-1. Changeup had him fooled a bit as this is on the ground to third. And a throw on to first by A-Rod is in time, one away. Matt Garza will stand in for the first time here. And now he drops one down here and he'll try to beat it out. Go to first will get him as they pounce on it quickly to snuff out the bunt attempt. David DeJesus will stand in here. He was set down on strikes to start the home first. Foul back. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. And now a pitch on the way. And a sinker sinks too much there as it bounces into the catcher's glove. On a hole now as he swings and misses at a pitch in the dirt. And it's one and two now. So far, he's the only guy that struck out for these guys. And he's in danger of making it two now. And Sabathia misses here. It runs full now, three and two. Yeah, maybe a little frustrated after that last call didn't go his way. Now he's got to make sure he doesn't lose him here on three and two. And he lost him here on three two as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Starlin Castro will dig in now, hoping to perhaps make him pay for the two out walk. And they've got a man caught in the rundown. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Curtis Granderson will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Now here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Hard to get extended on those. That just locked him up. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Leadoff man gone now for Robinson Cano. Here's the first offering. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. And now at the plate, you got to do something to get this guy out of the roll he's been on. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. Oh and, and he's in that mindset now where he can do just about anything he wants to. On a great pitch there as that completely locked him up and he's down on strikes for the second out. The first baseman Mark Teixeira will stand in. And base hit his first time around. Foul toward the third base dugout but this will get back into the seats out of play. Swung on and missed by Teixeira and they've got him right where they want him now. 0-2. And he's just running right through these guys. Absolutely worn him down. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Sabathia really putting all of his body behind that fastball. It's strike one. Averaging 10 pitches an inning through the first three. That was pitch number 31 there. Another fastball. Another called strike. Nothing in two now. And a slider. Oh, got a favorable call on that one as that's the first out of the inning. Marlon Bird will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. And here's a fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. And a diving effort, but he can't make the play in right. And this will bounce up against the Ivy now. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Brian LaHare will try it again. He flew out his first time. Good fastball from Sabathia to start the at-bat. It's strike one. Bird off second. Now the pitch. Off the plate. One ball, one strike. 
swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him, one and two. And you can tell he's looking for something to pull because he was way ahead there. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Alfonso Soriano will see if he can do it again. He homered his first time around. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. One run, two hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Good hard sinker, but he lays off to even things at two and two. Boy, and that never even threatened the strike zone. You at least got to make him sweat a little. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Well, that's an opportunity wasted on the mound there. Uh, hitters got to be defensive on two and two, but that was so far outside, he didn't even have to worry about chasing it. A Rod will lead it off. And there indeed is Alex Rodriguez now. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Back to work now is Garza as he jumps ahead of the leadoff man here, 0-1. Tough guy to face here to start this inning. And A-Rod swings and misses at that one. He's in a quick 0-2 hole now. I got to tell you, if I'm on the mound, why put one in the strike zone here? He hasn't shown any discipline at all on the first two pitches. Ready with another 0-2 inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two yeah and that change up down in the zone is definitely the one they wanted to strike him out on so that's a good job there to lay off here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying the deep right de jesus is back near the ivy as he makes the catch for the first down nick swisher will get another shot called out on strikes his first time around And here's another first pitch strike, and he's just running rough shot right through this lineup. They just have not put up much of a fight. I, I totally agree. He's had his way out there from the word go. Ah, not the greatest at bat thus far as he misses that pitch in the dirt and falls behind nothing in two now. Well, it doesn't look like he wants to break this long string of consecutive guys retired with a cheap single. He's shooting for the bleachers with that swing. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. Soriano has to range back a ways, but he makes the catch in front of the Ivy for out number two. Russell Martin will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. And he's just breezing right now. And there's a swing and a miss by Martin as he falls behind now, 0-2. He's closing in on putting up yet another zero. Stays alive here as this is fouled off to the right. Struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. So a strong... Giovanni Soto will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Right back to work is Sabathia as he gets ahead of the first batter here. Nothing in one. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Here's Sabathia on one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Mm, 94 on the outer edge. Can't help but take that. 
Now a ball lined to the right side. But there is the second baseman, Cano, for the first out. Just continues to pitch a strong ball game. That second inning home run has been the only blemish so far. Ian Stewart runs up as if to bunt and missed it. Strike one. And here's a fastball called for strike two. Oh, and he's just methodical out there right now. And this is swung on and bounced to shortstop. Up with it is Jeter. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Darwin Barney will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Pitch out. Nothing doing. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Look over from Sabathia. Here's the pitch. And that's swung on and missed on a pitch down one and one. Surprising that he needs the double play ball, yet he hasn't turned to the sinker yet. Out in front here as this is pulled down the third base line. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. One run on three hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Uh, swung right over the top of that one as this is a little dribbler out in front of the mound. Back to Teixeira, and it's not in time as they just get the one. Yeah, maybe a moment's hesitation there getting the ball out of his glove, and that was just enough to beat out the back end. Shows you just how much things have to be perfect to turn the double play. Matt Garza is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Boy, there's a prime reason why so many people like the DH. That's awful. Got him to go after that one. He's in a quick hole 0-2. Much better swing that time, but unfortunately the same result. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. And here is Brett Gardner now. He'll try and get things started as we begin inning number six. Trying to lay one down here, but he misses strike one. And when all else fails, that's not a bad idea. Anything to get a base runner here. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0-2. And, and I'll tell you, I've been surprised at how often they've swung and missed so far. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Just in case he had any ideas of looking for something away. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. And that's in there. Base hit. C.C. Sabathia will stand in in what would appear to be a sacrifice situation here. Runner goes. Tries to get the bunt down here, but this is foul, and we'll see if he tries it again. Gardner at first, now the pitch. And he'll try to bunt that man to second, but this one kicks foul. off for second. Swing and a miss strike three. The throw and it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Another guy retired there. You see his pitching line to this point. It's phenomenal. Just two hits. Both of them are singles. He's hardly even been in trouble. Thorough domination so far. He set now the pick. Runner goes for third. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Now a bluff back to second as he'll just hold on to it. And he doesn't want him to get off to a big lead out there at second, so he steps off to look him back. He's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. And that slide has been good for him all night long. No reason to go away from it now. 
Runners on his way to third. Jammed in there as this is rolled out to short. Throw on to first, and Jeter is set down for the second out of the inning. But one's all they get as the run scores. Curtis Granderson will dig in for a third time now. He's popped out and grounded out so far. And this is taken outside for ball one. Swing and a high pop-up straight back, though it looks as though he'll have room back there. And Soto's going to look this one right into the webbing, and the inning is over. So one run on one hit. David DeJesus will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. First pitch swinging here as this is on the ground for the second baseman, Cano. And a good throw gets him one gone. Boy, hard to get any kind of rhythm going when you get a one-pitch ground out to start the inning. Now it feels like you're behind the eight ball before things have even settled in. And now the second pitch of the inning is hit in the air to center. And plenty of room out there for Granderson, and there are two away now. Marlon Bird will dig in now, one for two to this point. And that misses for ball one. Tried to get the arms extended, but he couldn't. One and one. Uh, he's just cruising out there now. I'll tell you, this may turn into a game of first team to two wins. Two and one. Off speed pitch. Good for strike two. Yeah. And it's hard to look for a change up there, especially when a guy's got a good live fastball. Here's a fastball that swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And he drops it. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. And there's your go-ahead run standing on second base there with two away. Never too late to get something started. Brian LaHare will get an opportunity here in a run scoring spot now following the two out double. And that will get down in front of Granderson for a base hit. And now he has some trouble with it in center. And that will score the run from second as they jump in front now two to one. Well it looks like they're starting to get to him a bit here. Took them a few trips through the lineup but now that they've had a few looks they are definitely swinging the bats a bit better. Gets ahead of him here as he got him to swing over the top of this one. Called strike 0 and 2. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. The 0 2 once more from Sabathia. Fouled straight back. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. On the ground for A-Rod. Throw on to Teixeira is going to be in time, and with it, the inning is over. Cubs pick up a run on the RBI double. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up to start the seventh. It's now 2-1 to one Chicago. Welcome back here to the historic, friendly confines of Wrigley Field. Getting set for the seventh now with the Cubs out in front. And before the inning gets underway, let's get a look at our game summary to this point. And this ball is popped up right back behind home plate. Soto is there to put this one away, and it takes just one pitch to record the first out of the seventh. And that slider's been an effective pitch for him, no doubt, as you take a look there at what his pitch breakdown is so far. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Here it comes. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there. Oh, another good pitch there. I'm not sure he's throwing a bad slider. Oh. 
And this ball will be chopped foul. We're in the seventh inning now. The pitcher's duel, two to one, our score. Uh, you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Alex Rodriguez will stand in now. He struck out and flied out, 0 for 2 thus far. And that misses low and away, ball one. Now here's the pitch. And he will score on the inside the park home run, and that was a gift right there. Nick Swisher will stand in 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Sinker runs outside to start the at-bat 1-0. and 0. And he hasn't faced a whole lot of adversity on the mound so far. Let's see how that home run affects him. 1-0 pitch is his slider, swung on and missed 1-1. One and, one. and the folks here have been treated to quite a ball game so far. Sinker misses that time, and it's 2-1. and one. Yeah, and he's got to be careful not to give up yet another home run here in this inning. So you can see they're approaching with caution here. Swung on and missed, and it's even at 2-2. Two and two. Now on 2-2, two and two, where are you going here? Well, I for sure don't let him get extended, so I'm working him tight with the hard stuff. Full count, 3-2. and two. And this guy was their team leader in walks a year ago, so he'll definitely wait you out up there. Yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. But the Yankees are able to tie things up on the solo home stretch. Giovanni Soto will step in now. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Off the plate and in, hits a ball and a strike. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. Therefore, it is Swisher. One away. One thing to keep in mind, he's due to bat third in the next half inning, so you wonder if this half inning could be the last one we see of him out there. And this is hit hard on the ground to first. Throw will be well laid as he reaches it first. Yeah, yeah. Darwin Barney will stand in. He grounded into a fielder's choices last time. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? To no for one. Back to first and a great stretch there may be the difference. It's a double play and the inning is over. Russell Martin can get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out towards straightaway right. De Jesus is there to put it away, and they couldn't ask for more than a one pitch out to begin the eighth. Brett Gardner will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time, and then a base hit last time around. First pitch here misses wide, 1 0. And it's definitely worth noting he's just three over the minimum to this point in the eighth inning. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. He tried to get that one airborne, but it's one and two. Boy, and even late in the ball game, Matt, he's still getting that fastball up in the mid-90s. 
On a great pitch there as that completely locked him up and he's down on strikes for the second out. CC Sabathia will step in now. 0 for 2 to this point. Raul Banya is into the on-deck circle now and by doing so that'll signal the end for CC Sabathia. is fouled back and out of play. The pitch. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Very enticing, but a good job holding up. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. got another one. 13 strikeouts now and the inning is over. Freddy Garcia is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Matt Garza will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Tony Campana has moved into the on-deck circle now, so that'll be the end for Matt Garza. Tony Campana is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. Ah, not able to hold on there as he swings through a pitch in the dirt, and it doesn't look good for him now. Down 0-2. Boy, they are really exposing some holes in his swing in this at bat. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Here's a swing and a fly ball without a whole lot behind it towards Swisher out in right. And he's got it for out number one. David DeJesus will stride in, grounded out his last time through. And this will be grounded foul wide of Teixeira over at first. Now the pitch. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. And looking around this place, not too many people have made their way to the exits. Two and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's the 2-1 to DeJesus. Hard hit towards center. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Starlin Castro will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here, especially in this part of the lineup. So you can't let your guard down. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Looked like he pulled the string on him there as this is popped up. Back behind second. And Jeter will make the catch to retire the side. Lights out, baby, lights out. 